Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how if you go to this specific spot in Blackwater in Red Dead Online, you can make yourself a ton of money by doing one simple thing. So as you know, earlier this week, Rockstar actually nerfed a lot of the fish that you could sell in Red Dead Online. Specifically, they decreased the price of the smaller satchel fish that you could put in your satchel and then sell to the butcher. However, a positive to this is that fish that you would have to put on the back of your horse or that you couldn't put in your satchel became more valuable, selling anywhere from seven to eight to nine dollars. So a lot of people have now assumed that fishing has become obsolete and it's not a great way to make money in Red Dead Online and that's simply not the case. Uh, you can make updated routes that look something like this and uh, you can still you know fish on the Dakota River catching yourself steelhead trout and sockeye salmon and largemouth bass and uh, smallmouth bass and you can still make a, a legitimately good amount of money after 45 to 60 minutes by fishing as well as all the other perks it has like increasing your health and dead eye and you know increasing your honor every time you catch a fish or are resourceful and put it in your satchel so needless to say there's still lots of benefits but now there's an even better way to fishing and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video today. So by far the best location I've seen for this is in Blackwater. And I actually saw this post on the Red Dead Redemption 2 subreddit. I'll leave a link to it in the description that really does show you how effective this is. But I'm also going to be showing you in this video today. So there's a couple things that you might need before you end up starting this. There's clearly a couple obvious things here. You're going to need the fishing rod, which unlocks at rank 14 and is $32.50. You're also going to need some bait and some lures as well. I would recommend having the lake and river lure for both of these. Now, both of these unlock at rank 30. If you're not there yet, I would highly recommend spending one gold bar on each. It's going to pay for itself almost immediately. And then for some of the other fish you might be interested in, catching like the bass i think you're going to want to end up grabbing the live worms and if you're ranked 24 grab the live crickets do not spend a gold bar on live crickets just wait until you get to rank 24. now once you have all those things acquired you want to go to this location in blackwater now this location is crucial for a couple reasons number one it's a really good spot for catching fish, which is obviously what we want. At the end of the day, we want to be able to catch fish here. But number two, look how close it is to the butcher. Because we're going to be catching the big fish that you have to put on the back of your horse, the distance to the butcher is critical here. And I kid you not, it is five steps away like five steps away and you're at the butcher. So the fish that we're gonna be looking for here today is the Lake Sturgeon. And Lake Sturgeon sell for $7.25. And if you get lucky enough, you can catch one of these guys about every two minutes, which means that every two minutes roughly, you're gonna be making $7.25, which doesn't sound amazing in the grand scheme of things, but let's say you're able to catch 30 of these in an hour, that's about $217 just from catching this one fish, which is so easy. So again, the location is going to vary a little bit. So the location of this is gonna vary just a little bit. Sometimes you'll stand right next to the dock. Sometimes you might have to stand a little bit farther to the right. Sometimes you'll stand a little bit further to the left. But either way, it's pretty simple. Now we're looking for the Lake Sturgeon here. Now it's gonna be very obvious if this fish is in the water because there's gonna be a lot of tiny fishes and this will be like the one big fish in there. So a general tip that I've given you guys throughout other fishing videos and money making guides is simply use eagle eye to find out where the fish is. Now another tip with this, a lot of times the fish won't spawn until your fishing rod is out and you have the bait or the lure equipped. So don't use eagle eye if you don't have the fishing rod equipped because otherwise you're not going to see any fish in the water and it's not going to work regardless. So you got to have that fishing rod equipped but then use eagle eye to figure out where the fish is is now another reason why this location is so great is because of how close to the shore you are typically these fish are only out in deep lake waters and because of that battles you have to have with this fish would take two or three minutes long 
But because you're so close to the shore, it's not going to take any more effort than catching a sockeye salmon or a steelhead trout. You can really get them in one like fighting rotation, which is so easy. And that's the best part of this spot is, you know, you can just grab it, put it on the back of your horse. If you want to turn that one in, you can. Or if you want to turn around and catch another fish, you can as well. Now, there is a couple things you want to be careful here about this spot. Number one, sometimes the fish don't spawn. Like, it took me about five or ten minutes to get a lobby where they did spawn. And once I got them in, I was good to go. But if that ever is the case where you just are thinking to yourself, man, these fish do not seem to be spawning in this lake. Trust me, they do. I was skeptical at first. Uh, you're just going to want to go to a new session. And that usually fixes it. The second thing that's a little bit worrisome here is it's black water. Uh, this is where like a lot of people go in the beginning of the game because that's where story mode missions are. It's a big city. And because of that, sometimes you'll run into degenerates like this that end up shooting innocent people that just want to fish. If you do this in Red Dead Online, and because there's no passive mode right now, and because there's no invite-only lobbies, like what could I have done here? You know, what, what could I have done? If you do this, I hope you step on a sharp Lego piece with an ice cold foot. And I hope it hurts so bad because that's what you deserve. Like literally, I was just fishing. Why you got to do that? And that cost me a fish right there because I had it in my hand and I dropped on the ground. That guy cost me a freaking fish. So I was a little salty about that. But that's one thing you just got to be careful about is, you know, sometimes black water can get overrun with people. So even if you find the fish spawning in a lobby, you might not necessarily want to uh, do it if it's full of people. So you kind of have to get lucky here. The next thing you could do here is increase the amount of fish that you could bring to the butcher at once. Now, because we're literally five feet away, it's really not that big of a deal. But there's a couple ways in which you can increase your payout load. Number one would be taming a wild horse. Well, taming's not the right word, but breaking a wild horse so that you could basically just have another horse to put a fish on. That would be pretty easy and pretty simple to do. Um, I've showed you guys how to do that in previous videos. It's just like how it works in single player or something else you could do. And I feel like this would be the most preferred method. Although I like went to a bunch of big cities like Saint Denis and Rhodes and I couldn't find any of these spawning. You can actually find like horse carriages or horse wagons that the NPCs will have. I'm really hopeful that sometime in the future, Rockstar will give us these attachments for our horses or maybe upgrades that we can have in the stables. But if you're able to find one of those, like a, a horse that has like this wagon or cart compartment on the back of it, you can literally just toss the fish in that. And then you've sort of got like your own mobile storage unit. So that's kind of cool. And if you wanted to like go super hardcore at this, that's also something that you could do as well. So I think at the end of the day, with the price adjustments and how convenient and close you are to the butcher, this has become my favorite fishing and money-making spot in Red Dead Online. And a lot of people are gonna compare that payouts to some of the showdown series that you can do. But once again, the showdown series really comes down to how many you can win, if you're gonna come in first place, are you the MVP? Can you really guarantee that in every single lobby that you get in? Probably not. Whereas with this fishing, like even an amateur like me can do this and do it over and over and over again. So this spot is incredibly lucrative. It's going to lead to you making so much money in Red Dead Online. And in my opinion, there are other spots where you can catch better amounts of fish. Like, for example, on the same lake, but in just a different location, like in Rhodes, sort of on the other side of the Flat Iron Lake, there's a spot where you can catch largemouth bass and steelhead trout and the lake sturgeon, but you're so far away from a butcher, like tremendously far away. And that's the key here, the fact that you are literally steps from carrying a big fish right to the butcher and then making money right on the spot. So once again, if you go to this location in Blackwater, it can become the most lucrative spot in the game. It's something you probably didn't know about and uh, it's one that I definitely think all of you guys should start to take advantage of. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. Have you tried this spot out for yourself? Was it successful? Did you find that you were catching a lot of fish just like me? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. 
If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.